been a busy couple of days. I hope I get a chance to relax now. Oh. Hey, you remember when we were together near Port Hades a few weeks back and found a curious little in the ground shack? I remember that. We found the roof. Well, I recently happened upon it again and picked the hatch lock. You would not believe the information I found in there. Tales of myself as well as of my sister and of Jarvis are all mentioned on various notes and journals. I don't know what to make of it, but I thought I'd let you know since you were mentioned in them as well. Walking shadows. T. Oh. Oh, that's creepy. Creepy. Brain! Brain! What's this? Dear Carlia, I know you like your daggers and I want to give you this gift to say thank you for what you've done in helping me being a better person. I hope this is enough. Barkus. Oh. Oh, they're pretty. Not quite as strong as the ones I've got, but they're pretty all the same. Have a look at them. Oh, the swords! Ooh. Oh! <gasps> oh! Yes, I think I could get used to those. Rune? Where's Bryn? <laughs> he's just behind me, Kay. Okay, thank you. Oh, he's right here, Bryn! Morning, Kay. You okay? Just tired. Yeah, we've had lots of visitors, haven't we? Listen! Would you be prepared to come with me somewhere? Of course. Because I've had a note from T. Oh, another adventure? Did she tell you about it? A little. I think we need to go and investigate and find out what's going on, don't you? Oh, yes. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can find the lock. Hurry up, this is important. All right, mate. Give me a sec. Rune, I need you to hold down the fort. Me and Bryn have got to go off somewhere, okay? You're leaving me behind Don't again. Don't sulk. You can come with me next time, all right? Besides that, you need to stay here in case T stops by. Hmm. Uh. Yeah, I thought that might put a smile on your face. No, no, shut up, Kay. Mate, let's go. Into the unknown. <gasps> Here. And then I, Tenant 1, never dishonour the Night Mother. Tenant 2, never betray the Dark Brotherhood or its secrets. Tenant 3, never disobey or refuse to carry out an order from a Dark Brotherhood superior. Tenant 4, never steal the possessions of a Dark Brother or Dark Sister. Tenant 5, never kill a Dark Brother or a Dark Sister. Oh! <gasps> Oh my goodness! Brave! A dark brotherhood. Wait, what? Day 30, I believe I have found Zedika, a soon-to-be apprentice. I have left a note at the city of Keshkemi and I have received an answer. I am now at Port Hades to see for myself if it is indeed her. I found Zedika. So far, it is only her that has survived the frost giants. She wishes to see the castle, and I have prayed. The castle, and I have prepared by keeping the guardians at peace. J31. Zedika has been to the keep. 
and am is amazed by all that is there. I can tell by her voice that she still has trouble with using the undead and demons as servants and guardians, even though she herself used one of the zombies as a guardian for convenience. One day she will see them as a way to power, only then will she truly begin her training. Found the bo bounty board in Super Mary last evening and earned many benefits. I also took an outpost from the natives and earned multiple packages from the savages, even though I will have to do so again. I have taken a crystal monster out. Its strong crystalline hide reflects my arrow damage back onto myself though, thankfully without the poison effects that the original deals in. It's been many weeks since I wrote here last. I have since gained in power immensely. My apprentice has also begun to seek powers for her own sake. The Perilous Valley is an extremely difficult area. The stone apes, fires, boars, as well as humans. Then there is a man who sits in ruins, a powerful man, as he is able to create very powerful goods with Scrimmer's payment. He has many weapons, spells, and auras available. I have ascended. The power of Ymir flows through me. I want not for thirst when non-humans perish before me, and neither cold nor heat have any effect on me any longer. Zedika is no longer in the land of the exiles. Where she went, I do not know, but she is gone, and unlikely we will see each other again. She held such promise too. Another has shown promise. Hyena, a young thief, a young woman hunted by the queen as well as others. She will make a wonderful apprentice. She already shows aptitude as well as curiosity in the darker arts. We shall see where she goes. Jarvis is here as well. I wonder whose orders he is in now. I wonder who... Under whose orders he is now, though he has taken an interest in Taina, I wonder the reason. I also wonder who this K is. The method of her operation is familiar, though I do not know why. More investigation is needed. Oh my goodness! The Dark Brotherhood! A city is now here, built with the interference of the Nightingales. Carlia, I wondered how long it would take you to show here with all those enslaved here. She has hidden herself well. The royalty don't expect her to be here. She is a useful woman and many should beware her sting. I wonder who else knows who she is. Probably not many, though Jarvis might with his knowledge and connections. Jarvis has set up behind Kale's stronghold. I wonder what the old fool is up to. Is he protecting the young princess? I wonder if the Queen's curse still haunts him or if he's found a way to alleviate it. If it is to stop the Queen, he will have to be stronger than he is. Aina and Nephi are with him as well. I wonder what they know of their protector. Time will tell. Well, well, well. Oh my goodness, Bryn! Hey, what's going on? Are you okay in there? Do I need to come in and rescue you? Bryn, it's the Dark Brotherhood. Are you sure it's them? It's the Dark Brotherhood. Well, that's extremely interesting. We need to get to Kay and leave her a message. This is vitally important. Come on, let's go. Lead the way then. Let's hurry. Nothing to see here, boys and girls. I'm just heading up to see T.
Boon, we need you. Don't ask questions, follow us now. Boon, the Dark Brotherhood is in the Exiled Lands. Wait, are you serious? That's all I know. I came across a place with Tiana a few weeks ago. It's actually Tyena. Okay, Tyena, sorry. You and names, Kay. I came across it a few weeks ago with her and she left me a note to say she'd investigated. And that there was information there that she thought I needed to see. So I headed down with Bryn. When we went inside this Dark Brotherhood armour, there is um, the tenant. There's a grave in there for some reason. I don't know whose it is. There's information about um, Tyena. There's information about Jarvis. There's information about Tyena's sister who's disappeared. And there was a brief mention of me. And then when I looked at a map, there was a, a notice there that said, Mark's the city here, and said, Carlyer, I wondered how long it would take you to turn up with all these people enslaved. Most people, or some people should be wear his thing, but I could be useful. Okay, so that's all I know. We, somebody may be making contact with us soon. I know that we have always had a working relationship with the... um. Assassin's Guild with the Dark Brotherhood and that we've always been safe but all bets could be off here so we are going to have to be very very careful no one travels anywhere alone either I take you guys with me or I take one of you guys with me or I take the dragons with me but somebody or something has to be with me at all times the same with you guys do not go anywhere alone until we get to the bottom of this I don't know who's here I don't know who it is. There was no signs of who it was. They hadn't signed their name to anything. They have so much gold. It is ridiculous. So we need to be on our guard. What about T, K? I've left a note for um, Tyena. I've left her a note making her aware of how serious this is. And that we will talk again in person. But for now, guys, please, please be careful. Okay, okay, I'm up. It's the last time I leave you to sleep. Good morning, how are you? Good morning. I'm okay, just, you know, late night, sneaking around places, you know? I do, I do. I got your note this morning. And I wanted to come see you straight away about it. So you were able to get into that place, were you? I was, and the things that are in there. I don't know whether I'm terrified or excited. I, I wasn't, I'm not sure what to make of it all. Since it seems, is this from like you, where you came from? Like It is. Let's go take a seat in the bar while I get some coffee in me and I'll tell you everything that I know. Absolutely. <laughs> Bryn, guard the perimeter. My goodness, I'm glad you told me about that place. It, it, I was running past it the other day, um, from uh, Port Hayes, and I heard a strange humming noise coming from above me. And then I had remembered that you and I had gone and found something near there um, a while back. So I had another look, and lo and behold, my lock picks were. Yeah, mine too. And did you see the amount of treasures they have in there? I did. I um I didn't want to touch any of it though because there was there was a dead body in there. I know. Okay, so 
it's a little bit concerning but it's also exciting at the same time because it's telling me that i'm not all the thieves guild aren't the only ones from skyrim that are here so within skyrim we have because skyrim is much bigger than these exiled lands and we have several colleges and guilds that all coexist together so there's the mages guild where people learn magic which is you know anybody is free to learn here but over there you need to really be a part of the mages guild or you're frowned upon right then there's the bards guild and there's the thieves guild of course and there's the champions who are fighters and then there is the dark brotherhood which is a collective of assassins and it is a member of the dark brotherhood that's here oh as soon as i saw the tenants pinned to the wall i knew exactly who i was dealing with i don't know the person although they seem to know me which indicates that i know them somehow but also their notes claim that they've been here for a while they were talking about apprentices and there was so much information i haven't got my head around it all but they, they were talking about apprentices and ascensions and um, which is something i've heard farkas talk about apparently takes a while so they've obviously been here longer than i have but they know who i am they know of me and it makes me think that maybe i know this person Yeah, that, that's that's what I wanted to come and talk to you about. I I, I don't want, know what to make of any of this. Um, what you just told me has clarified a lot, though. Holy cow, I didn't realize we were dealing with an assassin. As soon as I saw the tenants, and then there's a grave in there. Which is yeah. concerning because the assassins answer to somebody called the night mother who's been dead for a long time and they keep her body in a coffin and she's tended to by a keeper who looks after the body and keeps it oiled and almost mummified well it is mummified and then there is a listener who talks to the night mother that takes the assassin contracts but all that was kind of done away with a long time ago the the, the assassins guild that i was familiar with didn't have a listener and they didn't have the night mother until later she came later with a keeper who was crazy and they ended up assassinating him so i don't know what to make of it either is the night mother buried in that grave or is that the grave of somebody that they've murdered or is it the grave of somebody that came here with them because there's armor up on a stand as well there's so many questions, T. So many questions. Yeah, there really are. My mind is kind of just blown at this point. I was excited and terrified because, like I said, if we were in Skyrim, we have an allegiance of sorts and we they agree not to take out contracts on us and we agree not to hit them up for money or to rob any of their um, members. So there's an allegiance there, but would that have carried over here because there's nobody for them to answer to by the look of it yeah this is true and i haven't seen this person around uh, other than the magic humming the magic humming that you were talking about the only other place there's two places i've heard that magic one is the spider palace and the other is that um mansion that we found they're the only places that hum like that i wonder what causes such a hum to exist unless it's because we're already attuned to magic that we can hear it but i'm not well you are it's in your veins whether it's awakened or not yet it's there <laughs> which leads me to something else that may be in your veins do i still call you t or do i need to call you princess now um uh, what i read what he wrote about you and jarvis and your sister So I've only come to find this out myself a couple of weeks ago, maybe, through Jarvis. 
Okay, so this is one of the things that Jarvis needed to talk to you about. I'm not judging you. I would have kept it quiet too. Well, it's not exactly something that, yeah, needed to be known at the moment. But now it's come to light. And sure, I'll explain to you. So there seems to be... some sort of, I guess, thinking that I am the bastard child of the High King. Okay. Well, that would make sense because you told me your story about where you grew up and about your mother and about her turning on you, and I know that that's real. That pain wasn't manufactured. That was 100% true. So... That would make more sense if you didn't know. And the High King, that bloodline has magic, yes. So I've been told anyway. So the only proof that I know of it is what I can smell and feel. And that's what gave me the clue about magic for you though I couldn't feel or smell that magic until I'd learned magic and then I could smell it the fact that you can smell it now already tells me that the magic's already in your veins it's just not awakened yet so the rest of the story as, as I know it anyhow I'm still figuring it out um but the queen, the reason she's after me is she thinks that she can use the magical blood that flows in my veins to do something with it. Something that's preposterous, un unthinkable, um, but nobody knows exactly what. So she wants to use blood magic. So it seems, yes. And I would be the conduit? Conduit? I wonder if this has anything to do with your sister's disappearance. These are my thoughts, exactly. Well... I've been trying to stay hidden in the shadows more so these days. Absolutely. Yeah. Understandable. Hide my hide clothing to stay that way and hide because um, I have a feeling that something foul has happened to Nessie. Well, now that I know, all I can say is if she wants you, she's going to have to go through me to take you. And don't travel anywhere alone. Always have somebody, a dragon, somebody, something with you. Because the Queen's after you. We don't know what this assassin's plans are. Are they friend? Are they foe? Are they neutral and just watching from the, from the shadows? We don't know. And they are very good at blending into shadows. And Masters of Disguise as well. Can change their appearance on a whim if need be. So you need to be extremely careful right now. Yes, but how does one stay in the shadows and yet have companion with following them? By pretending to be somebody else, maybe. Oh. Change your armor when you're traveling. From what you wear at home to what you wear outside, make it completely different. Find ways to change your hair colour if necessary. There are ways that you can disguise yourself. Use bows one time you fight. Use daggers the next time and different armours. People will think it's two different people. It'll help you blend in a little bit better for a while. Uh, 
you know, I just love coming and speaking with you, Kay. You just have the brightest ideas. I'm a thief. I'm used to blending in. Like the, uh, the assassin's note said, the royalty have no idea where I am. I'd hidden myself well. Now I'm out in the open, but I'd hidden myself well until the city went up. The royalty have no idea I'm here or no idea who I am. Sometimes being plain and out in the open and acting like an ordinary everyday person throws people off the tracks, you know? Are you suggesting that perhaps it's time to remove the face covering? Or use a different one. Right now you wear the same armor everywhere you go. So try different armors with different face coverings. If you're, if you're with people you're comfortable with and you're in an area where you haven't been before, taking the face covering off may be an option. And putting it back on again where you may be recognized. But there are ways to change your appearance. Bark has managed it. He did indeed. Right now, you've gone from being a regular size to really small. That's going to throw people off, apart from the fact that you're recognizable through your armor. There seems to be even more reason to keep you safe now, because goodness knows what the Queen's planning. And we're all going to have to keep an eye out for this assassin and see what he's up to. All that information, there's so much to go through. I'm going to have to read his notes again. Thankfully, Bryn managed to take a copy of most of them. Oh, lovely. So I'm going to have to... Quite a bit of information to swallow. Yes, there's a lot. So... We may have to uh, have people reading through it and spotting things that I've missed and things like that. But, you know, that's for a later date. He's not made an attempt so far, which tells me that he's not been paid to. So his interest is purely academical by the look of it at this point. And he, he was right about one thing. I can be useful, but he should be wearing my sting because if he comes after us, he'll learn that I've learned some assassin skills while I've been in these lands. There's too many questions. Well, perhaps uh, some of them will, well, will be answered shortly, I hope, anyway. I, um... I was making plans on heading over towards um, those Stygian ruins outside of Zamora. Yeah, she'd asked and, about uh, that. Yeah, no problem. I can come with you to that. Yeah, I would love if you would. Um, Bastille's asking for some sort of scroll to translate. Okay. But last I um, last I encountered that place, there was some sort of undead skeletons roaming about, and one of them was. Um, impenetrable. I could not. I, all of my arrows just flung off of him, almost as if he was cursed. Yeah, I think he needs daggers. I think we need to make him bleed. Oh, okay. Well, I remember taking nice. him down with daggers. All right. Daggers, it is. Speaking of speaking of daggers, I got a new set. They're more like swords, actually. Farkas left them for me. Did he now? What a coincidence. Oh, did he leave you some too? He did. <laughs> he uh, he left a note as well saying it was, um, thank you for... Oh, look, they're the uh, same. We match. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did, did they seem to leave like a frostbitten effect on your foe? Yes, and I've also put bleed damage on them. I used one of the potions you gave me and put some extra bleed damage on them. That's wonderful. See, I didn't know what my what they did, if they did anything. So I wound up putting a heat stroke effect on them. Well, yeah, because it, it says dragon's curse. The um, altars told me they have a dragon's curse on them. That, to me, I thought that would be um, fire damage, right? Because dragons breathe fire, but apparently... As in Skyrim, not all dragons breathe fire here, some breathe ice. Yes, I think this was a frostbitten dragon. It must have been. Well, maybe these will help take that guy down a little bit better. Uh, 
I will take back up with us though, just in case. Sure thing. Once this storm's disappeared, of course. All right. Well, until the storm is disappeared, I'm gonna go and change and see if I can maybe disguise myself a little. Okay, bit. I'll get us some um, cooling drinks to take with us. Yes. Sorry, I went outside a sec. I'm here. No, you're fine. Uh, I I just need an opinion. Okay. So, am I? Would I be recognizable? Absolutely not. I like it. Okay. This it is then. Perfect, yeah. And it stands out more than the other stuff, so it kind of draws a little bit of attention to yourself. And then you can blend back into the shadows again in a couple of days and people will wonder where you've gone. Oh, thank you again for your help. That's okay. Anything we can do to kind of keep you hidden a bit longer? Although if the Queen had any idea where you were, and since this assassin knows where you are, if he was working for the Queen she would already know. She would have made an attempt, and she hasn't yet, so we have to look on that as a positive sign. Let me just drop some things I don't need off. My goodness! He's enormous stood next to you. I mean, he's tall stood next to me, but just stand next to him. I've, I've, I've got I've to get a picture of this. Hang on. <laughs> That's so cute. He could pick you up and put you in his pocket. Yeah, I'm still considering whether uh, to... Well, I'm still trying to figure out if I could fix this, first off. If you and can if fix can, it. If I want to. Well, you know what? If you can fix it, it would be great for disguising yourself. Once you know you can fix it, you can be tall for a while, then you can be short again, then you can be tall. It'll be like two different people running around, and no one will know which one it is. <laughs> I like that idea. We need to find a way to fix it. We do. Right, take your pick. Which one's coming and which one's staying? Got it. Okay, yep. Yeah, I took friend last night. Let's go, room. Making sure everybody's got food and things. Right. These guys will help us take whatever it is down. Bryn will hold the fort. Alright, let's do it. Oh, I want to make a pit stop, though, if that's okay, in top camera. Absolutely, no problem at all.